Hello uploaders and YouTubers, um, today on Project Spark I'll be teaching you how to add health onto your player and other NPCs in the world. So first of all I'll teach you how to uh, put health on your player. I'll go into the brain now currently. As you can see this is the code for my character as I've shown in, pre in previous videos. As it says here, it says health less than 100 and damage less than 1. So every time your character gets hit it'll go down by 1 each time. You don't want it to go down by a mad amount, by 10. And as I said here, show meter health max, which is 100. And max health, which is also 100. And it'll display on the top of the screen. So every time you're playing as your character, it'll just show on top of the screen, no matter what, all the max health. So now we'll go and test the character's health. As you can see, it is there displayed on the top of the HUD, or HUD as you like to call it, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so that's your character done now. Now that you've got the health sorted, you can now concentrate on the NPC's health. Go into his brain. This is all the default uh, coding, so there's no point of uh, messing about with that. But as this guy here, it's exactly the same as your character. It's got health. Less than 100 and damage less than 1. So every time he gets hit, it'll go down by 1. But here you got detect player, show everything, yeah, show meter health max, show max health, which is 10, and above the character's head. Because then when it detects you, it'll, it'll show it above your head, above his head, because you don't want the character to keep having the health bar above his head. We'll go and test this now, see if it works. Right. So as you can tell, we are back as my character. And that's the guy we will test it on. As you can tell, as soon as he detected you, the health bar came up. So we'll start it to him and show that his health is going down by 1 each time. As it goes down by 1, you want it to go down by 10. And now when that depletes, it, he'll die. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, please stay tuned for more Project Spark tutorials, and see you soon.